In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure zones, which means giving them a runtime, assigning to a program, and so forth. Before doing this step, you need to first have zones to set up, which means you've assigned your bicoders to a zone number, which is described in another video. To do this step, you need to turn the dial to the zones dial position. In this screen, you'll notice a couple of things. First, the program that the zone is assigned to or that you're configuring is up in the upper left-hand corner. Then you have a zone number, and then we'll walk through each of these boxes here in just a second. If you want to change the program that this zone is assigned to, press the previous key and then plus or minus to set the program. You assign a zone to a program by enabling it and giving it a runtime. I'll show you that right now. So if you want to change the zone that you're configuring, you can press plus or minus to change that. In the zone mode box, you got a couple of options. The first is just timed, and that's like any normal irrigation timer. You're going to give the zone a runtime. You can also make the zone a primary zone by pressing the plus key. A primary zone allows you to assign moisture sensors to that zone as well as link other zones to it, which will reflect the watering behavior of the primary zone. Let's go ahead and make zone 1 a primary zone. See it says press enter to make this change. I'm going to press enter and you see I now have a primary zone. I can then press the next key to go down and change the uh, runtime. In this case let's just set it up for 10 minutes. I'm going to use my next key and then plus down to it. I have also have the option of setting up cycle and soak times for the zone. Press my arrow key down. I'm going to so let's say I want my cycle time to be 5 minutes which is half of my runtime, and then my soak time can be whatever I want. Let's make it 15 minutes just for this example. We can do it. Yeah, you can really set the settings however you like. If I know the design flow uh, and I'm not using a flow meter and want to manually enter a design flow, I can do that here. I also have the ability to uh, disable the zone. Now if I don't want to use the zone but I don't want to lose any of my settings, maybe I've got a head broken, I can disable the zone without losing any of the settings or program assignments and so forth. And I can do that by simply using next uh, down to that box and hitting plus or minus. Now if I get into any trouble and I want to see on screen help I can use my next button highlight help blue and press enter and get on screen instructions for that specific screen that I'm in. Once I've done that I can then go make the change for the next zone in program one. I'm going to change the zone by plus come down to the zone mode box. My first option is timed, however I'm going to make this linked. Now you'll notice when I change this linked to zone 1, I then have automatically in here my zone water time of 10 minutes, the cycle and the soak times followed automatically into the zone settings, which is nice when you have a lot of zones that have similar watering features. That's how you set up a zone in the Base Station 3200. Thanks for watching.